from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, June the 15th, 2023. Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant is in Brussels to meet with his American counterpart, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, for talks focused on Iran. The sit-down is taking place on the sidelines of a meeting of NATO defense ministers at NATO headquarters in the capital, centered on supporting Ukraine. Upon his arrival, Galan told the press, in our conversations this evening, we will discuss the realization of the joint commitment of both countries to make sure that Iran never has a military nuclear capability. Iran was also front and center in a conversation yesterday between Israel's foreign minister, Eli Cohen, with senior officials from pro-Israel lobby AIPAC, including newly elected President Michael Tuchin and CEO Howard Kaur. Cohen saying of the meeting, we discussed the need for difficult political and economic moves to prevent Iran from continuing its terrorist activities and the importance of mobilizing the world to fight against the nuclear program. Iran, Cohen said, poses a danger not only to Israel but to the entire world. In addition, he said, we discussed the expansion of the Abraham Accords to other countries in the Middle East in order to increase stability and prosperity in the region. The U.S. House of Representatives this week approved a non-binding resolution demanding that Russia release Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich. Gershkovich, who is Jewish, has been held in a Russian prison since March the 29th on allegations of espionage, which the U.S. strongly rejects. The resolution calls for Russia to immediately release him and provide him unrestricted access to U.S. consular staff until such release. The measure was introduced by Chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Republican Michael McCall, who spoke of Gershkovich on the House floor ahead of the vote, which passed unanimously on Tuesday, 422 to zero. Evan Gershkovich is an American citizen and a respected Wall Street Journal reporter. He's the son of two Soviet-born Jewish exiles who fled Russia to avoid persecution. And he is a loving little brother. What he is not, Mr. Speaker, is a criminal. Yet on March 29th, he was arrested by the corrupt Putin regime and charged with espionage. No evidence has been presented to back up this accusation. Because there is no evidence. Evan is innocent. The Conference on Jewish Material Claims Against Germany, the Claims Conference, announced today that Holocaust survivors will continue to receive additional one-time payments from the German government until 2027. This as a result of Claims Conference negotiations with the German Federal Ministry of Finance on behalf of survivors. Home care services funding for survivors will also increase an additional $105.2 million for a total of $888.9 million. These measures impacting over 128,000 Holocaust survivors around the world. Ambassador Stuart Eisenstadt, serving as special negotiator for the Claims Conference negotiations delegation, said that every negotiation is a near last opportunity to ensure survivors of the Holocaust are receiving some measure of justice and a chance at the dignity that was taken from them in their youth. It will never be enough until the last survivor has taken their last breath. Changing gears now, turning to some entertainment news. Some of the best Jewish comedians took to the stage last night at the Saban Theater in Los Angeles for the roast of anti-Semitism, tearing down hateful anti-Semitic tropes through comedy. Among the stand-up performers, Howie Mandel, Rachel Bloom, Elon Gold, and Modi. The show is produced by Rakia Media and Stand Up New York in association with Be Forward Productions. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, June the 15th at 7 o'clock. It's Talmud Study. At 7.30, Ruth Land talks about Israeli regional positioning and the Iranian threat.
At 8, Israeli Arab advocacy activist Yosef Haddad joins AJC Chair Avital Leibovich and Ambassador Dror Adar to talk about the BDS movement and its impact on the threat of delegitimization against the State of Israel. At 9, Rafael Shur is on L'Chaim. At 10, Daniel Gordas talks about his book, Impossible Takes Longer. And coming up next, following last week's UCLA screening of Israelism, Shach Arazani speaks with former head of the ADL, Abe Foxman, and president of UCLA SSI, Natalie Masashi, who share their perspectives on the new documentary that rails against the pro-Israel quote-unquote indoctrination of young Jews. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, June the 15th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.